welcome back to my channel. I hope you all are doing fantastic. Here we have the Amelie Taupe by Dooney and Burke. Now this, if y'all remember, I had put uh, on my community tab asking, was this normal for Florentine leather to have these marks? Because I wasn't sure. I've had some Florentine bags that have had some marks, but not these type of marks. So I wasn't for sure, which um, you'll see them on the back. So yes, she has a lot of stretch marks. <laughs> um, but I just wanted to know if it was common or not, because they do not bother me. I know I'm picky about my bags, but this actually, I love distressed leather, and to me it gives it character and stuff. So that doesn't bother me when stuff like this is on leather. Um, but I was just wondering if it was common or not. A lot of y'all said it was. Some said they would send it back, and some said they, you know, it wouldn't bother them. But um, it was a lot of, you know, um, mixed answers which I love getting y'all's opinions. And like I said, I was just wanting to make sure that Florentine Leather does do this. But like I said, I kept it. I didn't care. I just, you know, wanted to make sure. And she's got her stretch marks. And so do I. <laughs> so no judgment there, poor thing. But um, it's a beautiful 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 bag i love this bag and i was hoping when i got it in it wasn't going to be too heavy because these bags can be very heavy when they're florentine leather i've sold just about i think i have sold every one of my florentine leather bags um over the past couple years because of the weight um anywho let's get into this bag this is the amelie tote you have this uh clasp here you have handles, which I love. And this strap has the perfect drop. It come with this, that, um, which I took this piece out of the strap. You can remove that to make it a shoulder bag or add this in and make it a crossbody, which I wouldn't wear this bag crossbody. So there's the back. Here's the bottom. the side and this is the latch you can turn it to either side I love that this is not too heavy but I don't have it too packed full either but um, you have your large slip here my phone goes right here but I'm recording with that and I love the green suede and you have this like cream colored leather lining. I do have my Dooney and Burke wallet. I've had this wallet for years and years. This is very old. Um, oh, the color is natural. I love the natural Florentine leather. Let me make sure nothing is showing. See, this is the snap pocket. And... was sticking out Let's... and this um, is where your cards go and you have a slip behind each side you have a slip here and a slip here and it's red inside and you have green suede throughout here I don't remember what the name of this wallet is y'all sorry about that because it it's very old like I said I've had it for years it's been well loved um I have these tissues, my measuring tape by Vera Bradley. I have this hooked on in here, my little um, uh, Louis Vuitton clay hooked onto the keep clip, because this is where I put my jewelry whenever I take it off. Like when I'm out and about, I get tired of wearing my jewelry. I'm so bad about that. <laughs> and I have this little Scooby pouch a little clip on the back. I have my change in here, my coins. How cute is he? I have my prayer beads. I 
my fan. I have my key fob to my car. My pouch, which I'll show y'all what's in here in just a minute. And in this pocket, I have my ink pen. I forgot where this came from. I don't know if this was the Dollar Tree or not. I don't remember. I have my hand sanitizer, my notebook, my um, taser flashlight, my perfume, there's the pocket, there's that pocket, and then we have the zip pocket, which we have my normal stuff, I have my little Timu perfume balm in here, a mask, my nail kit, two more, well, no, one more mask and a screen cleaner. Oh, this was a little doonie charm. Uh, mini balls, my gum, and this is the doonie paperwork. That's it. But, um, and this bag did not look used. Like when it when it got to me, um, it was packed. I mean, everything was wrapped to the hilt. I mean, just like it would completely brand new. So I didn't even think it was used by any means. I mean, by the way, it was uh, packed up and stuff. But it just had some stretch marks. Which I need to rub this stuff out because I did that myself with my nails and stuff and with that clip. That's one thing with Florentine leather. It scratches so easy, but it can be rubbed out, so that's great. Okay, and in this pouch. I have my Nivea Cherry. One of my new favorite lip balms. Y'all know, y'all seen this a million times. This is my birthday balm from Avon. It is in the color Surprise. I'll have my Avon, um, I sell Avon link down below. Y'all need to try these. These are awesome. A hair tie, scrunchy thing. My little, uh, this smells so good. Deodorant. Rollades. My Avon mascara. got this stuck in there. Ponds lotion. And I have a feminine wipe, a shot wipe, a panty liner, a wet one, a premium wipe. The same stuff y'all seen a million times. Vix Vapo inhaler, my little Pacifica Gardenia spray. I love this little pouch. Okay. Let's see. Let me put this back in there. Um, thank you all, though, for your responses on my community tab about this bag. I appreciate it so much. Helped me make my mind up, and which I was pretty much going to keep it. Because it didn't look, it wasn't packed as if it was used, you know. It just looked like this would be natural within the leather. So, plus when I went to their website, some of their, like, bags, if you go there and look at these, you could see it in the picture it having these um, stretch marks and stuff. But, anyhow, I love her. I'm keeping her. And I've enjoyed using this bag. It's very, very pretty. And it's, it just goes with everything. And that shoulder strap, I am in love with the length I can put on this. This is like perfect. And um, it's not heavy. I am so surprised being Florentine that this bag, but it's not a large, large bag. It's about a medium size. You know, small to medium. 
for me for what I would call it and um, but you can go to the website and look it up and they you know get the measurements and stuff if you're interested I got this from Dooney and Burke dot com that's the Amelie too in the color natural okay I hope you all enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up y'all that really helps my channel really if y'all watch my videos please give them a thumbs up if you enjoyed them and also subscribe if you haven't please if you like my videos and you like purse videos I do them all the times bags are my passion I love them it's a hobby for me I love 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 purses just love them <laughs> so subscribe if you haven't and um thank you all for your kind comments and also your support i appreciate each and every one of you hugs to you all and hope to see you on my next bye bye mm -hmm.